You're not van size, I'm afraid. It's very high. <laughs> you can... I can see you. <laughs> We've just gone in the exit. It's very impressive, but it is pretty low. I didn't expect it to be this big. Really are on top of the world here. We're Marion and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since May 2018. Yay! Whilst attempting to drive around the world in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. Welcome to Turkey! What 400 videos? I can't believe I have made 400 videos. Thank you to everyone for all your comments and motivation, which keeps us going and creating you content. If you haven't checked out our old stuff, go check out the series on Central America. It is amazing. Thanks again. Back to the show. There's a cable car here in Antalya, which is literally about five miles away, I think. So uh, we're going to go and check that out because the sky is still blue. It's a beautiful day here in Antalya. Thank you, Grishiris. There you go. You can see the cable cars above us and they are running. There's a big car park just uh, by the cable car and uh, it's 15 TL to park. Right, we've parked up. It's a good route. It goes all the way up to the, uh, the top of the mountain there. So that should give us a nice view of Antalya. You're massive. Look at the size of you. You come up to my waist. You're not van size, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, ticket time. So the ticket price is 20 Turkish Lira per person. And at the moment it's open 10 till 6.30. Okay, so we've jumped into the uh, into the little booth here. They just actually gave it a spray when we came in. That's it. The doors are closed. We're going. So the beach we stayed on last night is just over there, and uh, this is the main D400 road that goes along the south of Turkey. That's where we're heading. And uh, that way along the coast is where we came. That heads back towards Cash. And you can see little Trudy Park down there. Oh, quite high now. We've got a good aerial view over Antalya. How's the fear of heights, Marianne? <laughs> Ooh, it's vibrating a bit. You alright though? Baby? It's very high. It's pretty high. I don't know why sometimes I talk myself into falling and I feel like I'm talking myself into falling. That's right, we're nearly at the top. We can take a breather before we go back down. And then on the way back down it's easier. There's a pathway, I've seen a pathway. It's no pathway down there. Okay, it's actually a little bit higher than it looks from the bottom. <laughs> there's snow over there. Oh, there is. There's snow on the mountain. That's it, we're at the top. So this is the view away from the city. Look at that view. Really are on top of the world here. Snowcat mountains. And then right at the top, you've got this little restaurant bar area. There's a restaurant up there, but they're closed at the moment due to COVID. And then 
Oh, there's a nice view over the city down here. It's a lovely little trip up for an aerial view over the city and beyond. And uh, you can see so far. Manavgat Beach, where we're heading after Antalya, is down this coast. This is heading down towards the east of Turkey. That's the direction that we'll be heading in next week. Just shows you how big a city Antalya is. So as you uh, come into the park at the top here, there's a couple of guys. You can have a photograph taken with a parrot, an Amazonian parrot in the Turkish mountains. To be honest, personally, I don't understand why you would want a photograph with a parrot on top of a mountain. And we tend not to, su to support sort of these animal tourism, touristic things. So don't have a photo, photo with a parrot. We're back to Trudy. It definitely is higher up there than it looks from the bottom. Hell yeah. So now we're gonna jump back into Trudy. We're gonna to head to um, Decathlon, which is like an outdoor shop, um, because my shoes are a little bit worn out. These boots, they're from Carrymore. Actually, they have lasted an amazing amount of time because they have survived the whole trip round um, Central America and the world trip so far, but you can see they're finally seen better days and uh, You've glued them and glued them and glued them. I think it's time that I bought a new pair and my trousers <laughs> I actually stood up the other day and Marion went I could see your underpants <laughs> I can. Uh, Because they've just they've just worn out. We don't have a lot of clothes in the van So we only replace them yeah. when they reach the end of their days and I think it's official that my butt. <laughs> oh, wow. you can... I can see you. <laughs> now, look what she did. <laughs> I, can see I you think we need a new fair. <laughs> okay, decathlon, here we come. Just come into this car park. It's a little bit tight. There must be a bigger car park somewhere. Okay, the car park was too small, so we're going to go and try and find another one. So let's go around a little bit more. Is this a bigger car park? At the end, at the end. At the end, maybe. Behind the store, next one of the motorhome. Chuck it in there, perfect. The good thing about cities is you've got retail heaven. <laughs> and we've just found a really big shopping centre with a decathlon and uh, everything so this is Watson. great huh watson's shopping <laughs> decathlon okay calm down marianne calm down there you go 39 pounds and uh, we got ourselves a new hiking boots nice it's monday morning we had a wonderful weekend just catching up with our usual tread the globe bits on the beach here in antalya and this morning we're heading up to um, the Duden waterfalls. There are some lovely looking waterfalls here in Antalya that we want to go and check out before we leave. Okay, we just arrived. Here's the car park. We just gone we just gone in the exit. How did that even happen? Is there a machine or what? Oh there's box office there, is it in there? <laughs> That's the back of the cash point. <laughs> the guy here's trying to get us on a camel ride. Have you right? Is there somebody there? No, it's closed. And the gate's open. So and the gate's open, so it's free. Oh, well, that was a little bit confusing. 
Okay. Yeah, I saw I saw the, the thing there and I came in that side. Well, that's because there's two there's two exits, so you I came in the... And I didn't see the arrows until... No, me neither. Okay, so let's go and have a look around the falls. Manaba. I can't see you. <laughs> So including the parking, it was 25 TL to get in. Yes. Amazing. Right, let's go and have a little look. It's funny, on the drive here, um, it's actually very flat. You expect to see, uh, if there's a waterfall, you expect to see some kind of hill or some kind of drop. And uh, we just followed the sat-nav and it took us to this car park next to this little park. And it's a little bit of an oasis uh, just on the outskirts of the city. We've driven about, probably about 20 minutes from uh, Antalya city and we've arrived in the park here. So there are two waterfalls in Antalya. This is the first one that we're coming to today, which is the upper waterfalls about half an hour's drive north of Antalya. I seem to have found myself on a little island. The water behind me, the river is actually split. One going over there and one going there. And you can see, comes down over these pebbles, over stepping stones. I'm so gonna get wet feet. Wow, listen to the power of the water. We're gonna go down and have a look from the other side now. It's hard to hear with the sound of the water but there are so many birds here. I suppose water always brings life. And they've put all these bird boxes up, all different colors, dotted around in all the different trees. So the birds have got a nice nesting place and it's springtime now. So they're all busy with a bit of action. We were just trying to figure out whether you can get to the bottom and cross or whether you have to go the other side up and over so we're just coming down these steps and i'm pretty sure there's a bridge to the other side oh yeah there is look at the force of that water this is where the two rivers have met now and it's a combined force look at the roots on that tree that's amazing in the rock We could hear a squeaking and then we saw the evidence of guano, bat poo and then we saw a sign that says bat. We're not going to go in but you can hear them, I think. Hello. Can you hear them? So we've come down to the bottom now and you can see the two rivers coming down and creating waterfalls. It's really impressive. I didn't expect it to be this big. Jumbo jet right over my head. 
because right next to it there's this big cave area it's resonating and echoing Woo! so we've just spotted there's a walkway you can see the barriers that go all the way along so i'm pretty sure you could go and walk behind the waterfall let's go what <laughs> It's a bit noisy. So we're just coming through this cave. Oh, mind your head. And uh, wow, you've got to duck down here. And the waterfall's down there. This is cool. They've got this little cave tunnel that sort of winds behind and gives you little views. So this little views over the waterfall but it is pretty low and if you're six foot three like me you have to die yeah, but it is getting higher now it's fine for me <laughs> this will help me back okay so we're coming through i am going to take my shoes off because it is so wet and uh, the ceiling is dripping so we've left the uh, the big camera, but wow, you can come literally behind the waterfall and get very wet in the process. <laughs> I'm soaking. <laughs> yeah, my back's wet. Oh my ah. Ugh. It may only be April. Boys, it must be 30 degrees today. It's hot and trudy today. The waterfalls was absolutely amazing. I would definitely recommend visiting that. I really enjoyed that, didn't you? It was lovely. And so, very cool down and there. And very cool. Really cool. Um, so now we're gonna head to the other waterfalls, which are a little bit unique. So uh, they're about another half an hour drive back into the city. So we've arrived now to the uh, the second waterfalls, the second Dunham waterfall here in the city on the coast. It's funny, I've just seen a plane flying over and although we're very close to Antalya airport, we haven't really seen any planes for such a long time, have we? No. So maybe the flights have started again. The sea is just over the edge here. We're gonna go and have a look and find these waterfalls. I have a feeling that those boys that are hanging on ropes are, if anybody were to fall in, they could actually grab them and pull themselves out. And this, I assume, is to collect some rubbish. There's a bit of plastic there. So this is 10 miles, roughly, from the last waterfalls. And uh, that is the river, which then comes this side. So here you go, and this is the top of the lower Duden waterfall. And it's funny, from this angle, you can't actually see any waterfall, you can just hear the noise. It just looks like a calm pool. It just blends into the sea here. So we're gonna walk around now and see if we can get a view back over the falls. Having seen those boys to pull themselves out, I'm not surprised. I think if you were to go over the edge of here, it would end very badly. So this is the lower Duden waterfalls that you can see behind us. And what makes this unusual is that you can see it coming into the sea. Personally, I've never seen a waterfall of any size, especially this size, going straight into the ocean. It's very impressive. And looking at all the lights in the cliffs, uh, I think if you come down here in the evening or at night time, it's gonna look pretty spectacular, all illuminated. Definitely worth a visit.